Chica. Hello. Hi. Hello and welcome to the Craft Core vlog. Um, if it's your first time to the channel, thank you for tuning in. Every week I do a little video showing what crafty things I've done from the following week. Oh, my cat does not want to stay. That's okay. Um, this week I made a hat. So, this is my first ever knitted hat. So here's a close-up shot of the hat that I made. I use a size 5 yarn and a size 6.5 millimeter needle. On the top I put on a really cute pom-pom that I also made. I just love the pom-pom, it really adds to it. It's a little bit big for my son. The pattern was newborn and he's 5 months now. Um, it has about a two finger gap so he'll definitely grow into it. So this hat I made in less than a week while watching television. Um, I followed a tutorial online that was supposed to be using thin um, baby yarn, but I happen to have some of this bulky size 5 yarn in my stash. So what I did was I kept the number of stitches the same as the pattern, but I just made it a little bit shorter. So they had instructed to do a 5 inch rectangle, and I did a 4 inch rectangle and then tapered it out and seamed it together and then add a pom-pom on top. Very cute! I didn't do as much crafting as I had hoped this week. I did make some cookies. I posted the recipe on my blog if you want to check it out. Link is in the description. Um, but I did go to the thrift store and pick up a few crafty items. So I'll show you guys my haul. The first item that I found is this cone of yarn from Valley Village. I really like being able to find cones specifically because they're very rare at the stores that I'm at. When I go to Michael's or anything like that they don't sell them on the cones and then I have to wind them into cones to use on my knitting machine. So for $1.99 this red yarn is going to be an awesome cardigan one day. The dress that I'm wearing today is one that I made, but it's a pattern that I just printed off off the internet and it's kind of hard to tape all the pattern pieces together, so I wanted to have some in my stash that are already in one piece and ready to go. I'm excited to try this. My last great find is quilting fabric. So I never am able to find quilting fabric at my local thrift stores. It seems like they are the types of fabric that get swiped up right away. Um, there's some really cute prints in here. I'm excited to open this up and see exactly what I have. I was a little bit worried because I spent $3.99 on this one, so hopefully the pieces are large enough to warrant the cost. Here we go. This is the one that I was really excited about. It's a little tiny star print, so cute. And there's a fair bit here. Hooray! There are little cute snowmen on this, so adorable. This one's not really my style, but eh, find something to do with it. Okay. Ah, more cute stars in a slightly different tone, love that. This collection is just so cute. 
so many cute snowflakes. So this set here was only $2.99. I feel like it was a big score. I'm so excited with these stars though, I just can't get over it. Ah, love it. Alright, this one was a little bit riskier for me because I didn't really like the colors as much. But it looks like there's some prints in here that I might like and other ones that I might be able to gift to friends. stapled right to the fabric. I'm just going to leave it stapled on before so I don't rip it. That's quite pretty. This is the one that I wanted to buy it for. Very pretty. It's a very dainty print. Oh, there's little tiny birds in this one. These ones I'm not really a huge fan of, but they'll work with some projects that I have. Oh, this would be a sweet print for a Valentine's Day project. And more of that sweet little bird print. Alright, I'm going to get it, go ahead and fold these onto my comic book boards, which is what I use to sort and organize all my fabrics. Every time I get new fabric, I wind them onto these mini fabric bolts. They're actually comic book co cards. Um, there's to make comic books stiff when you're, you know, storing them. I get them from my local comic book shop, but you can get them on Amazon as well. Um, I'll link a post in the description as well, where I talk about them on my blog. Um, but basically all I do is I fold it around this so that it is the correct size to fit on my shelf with all my other fabrics. So I'll go ahead and I'll take this one. So this one has a piece taken out of it. And just do something like that. So I just keep repeating this until all my fabrics are organized and ready to go sort onto my shelves. Alright, I finished folding all of my fabrics and they are looking quite cute. I'm very excited about this because this was really only $7 and I got all this fabric. Uh, most of them are about a fat quarter. Um, some of them are a little bit smaller and they don't actually fit on the comic board so they'll go in my scraps, but they'll be useful for something. So I'm excited to dive into these when I eventually start a new project. But one of my goals for 2017 was not to start new projects until I finish an old one. So we'll see how long I can resist touching these fabrics. They're very pretty. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and put away all my new fabric and tidy up my craft room. And on that note, I will stop this video and we'll get together next week. I'll be here on Monday. Um, I hope to see you then. Happy crafting! Oh. One thing I wanted to mention, the dress I'm wearing right now is one that I made last year. Um, it's just one that I really like and it's super comfortable. It's actually a maternity dress, but it doesn't actually have any maternity features in it. It's just an A-line dress that is very stretchy and super comfortable, also postpartum. Hooray!